Hello everyone. My name is Mubarak Mahmoud. Uh, I am a PhD student in the University of Paris Saclay. Today I will give you a short presentation of my PhD and uh, what we are currently working towards. Um, So my PhD thesis as funded by Sayland is titled Leach Nitrate Recovery by Trees in Agroforestry Modeling and Experimentation. I have started my work uh, since November 3rd, 2020. My thesis is uh, directed by Laura Bats and co-directed by Stephen Bazot. Paul Lidley and Nicola Delpierre, all of which uh, they are members of the Laboratory of Ecology, Systematics and Evolution of University Paris Saclay. So the problem that led to the formulation of my PhD is uh, due to the fact that 80% uh, of European arable land has been considered as potential risk area for soil erosion and nitrate leaching, thereby leading researchers to recommend agroforestry as an alternative land use to combat such uh, problems. And uh, this problem is justified by the fact that nitrogen being one of the most important element for plant growth, at the same time it's uh, considered as one of the most critical elements that limit that limit plant growth. By um, uh, of it is um, of it being um, in most of the times available to the crop not in sufficient amount due to some factors, including it is low mineralization, high solubility, and susceptibility of this nitrate forms to leaching and bacterial denitrification. So we hypothesize that in agroforestry, trees with their deep roots can intercept nutrients that leach down the soil profile. And uh, that's those that escape the crop root zones. So, and the trees can be able to return such recovered or intercepted nutrient to the soil surface uh, through litter pole and prunings. So the broad objective of the thesis is to assess or to determine the extent with which trees can recover leach nitrate in agroforestry. So we will answer the question as to does agroforestry reduce nitrate leach loses compared to crop monocultures? We will also try to uh, assess the contribution of microbi microbial biomass in um, retaining a potentially leachable nitrate. And thirdly, as our research field contains a nitrogen fixing tree, so we will try to assess um, the contribution, uh, like trying to assess the transfer of atmospherically fixed nitrogen from the tree to the crops. So the study area the, my site, my research site is located in uh, Montpellier. So we are going to have a Mediterranean, um, uh, so it's be Mediterranean climate. So it's managed by UMR Eco and Souls under the DMS project. The site is uh, completely devoted to research. It contains experimental and control plots, and um, it contains um, um, agroforestry site, crop, monocrop site, and forestry site. And there are many important and significant scientific research installations such as the foroscopes for collecting the leachate and um, soil scanners for scanning and observing the root architecture of the trees and um, many uh, soil sensors for determining the different soil characteristics. Currently, the site is 100% uh, is, uh, red fed. And as you can see in this map, this is the site and 
where it is located. So as a pictorial depiction of, uh, of the agroforestry site where we are working on, it contains a mixture of trees and uh, crop. The trees are Robinia seed acacia, commonly known as uh, black locust, which were planted in 2018. And the crop species are barley, which were planted in, this, in January 2021. And there is a um, grass strip on each rows of the robinia. And um, this um, crop species are um, subjected to mechanization and uh, rainfall and herbicide application and fertilization is uh, totally inorganic. So they are located in the alley between the crop, the tree species. So this is a depiction of and how the site looks like. So based on our experimental design uh, and based on our hypothesis, we assume that we would apply 15N fertilizer to the crops. So the assumption is that after we apply 15N fertilizer, it will undergo several pits. Portion of the fertilizer applied will be absorbed by the crops, by the body, and portion of it will be volatilized in form of ammonia volatilization, and portion of it will be um, absorbed by the microbes, and portion will be uh, denitrified, and some will be absorbed by the tree roots, and some will leach down. So we are going to assess all of this um, 15 N. We will assess the pits of each uh, each of it. So we will measure crop optic through repetition analysis, and we will measure volatilization using high self model. We will measure microbial absorption using microbial analysis. We will measure denitrification using HICEF model. And we will measure three offtake using repartition analysis. And we will measure leaching using forest curves. So these are the forest curves that will be placed. Um, will, we, we will see the uh, arrangement that we are going to use later in the, in the subsequent slides. So we assume that leached N is equal to applied N minus the sum of all these processes, excluding the leach nitrate. So in comparison to the control float, which contains only the crops without the trees. So when we apply the fertilizer, it will be taken up by, by the crops. Then it will be um, absorbed by the microbes. It will then, and it will be denitrified and, and it will leach and it will volatilize. So here there is no tree optic. So this is what we are going to study. So we will see the, the, the contribution of the trees for reducing the nitrate leaching. So in this case, leach, leaching will be equal to applied N minus the sum of all these processes. So to determine the transfer of nitrogen from the crops to the trees, we will use 15N level in solution containing 98% 15N atoms. So we will select uh, a plot of two by two meters containing crops, that is a valley, on which we will demarcate 1.5 meter, one, one meter by 1.5 meter plot, where we will apply the 15N solution. So the assumption is that 15N solution applied to the crops here. So the 15N will be transferred to the grass strip and also to the trees here. They will also leach down and they will also be volatilized 
denitrified and absorbed by the microbes. So uh, from the samples of uh, crops here, we will make the assessment of all of those um, pools, potential pools. We will also assess the grass tree and the um, trees here. So in our, in our research field, we have three blocks at different locations and they are complete replica. Uh, they are complete replicas of uh, one another. But for our own uh, thesis, we will use only two blocks. So in each block, we will take four replications. And we will finally assess, we will finally conduct a 15 n analysis on the crop, on the soil, microbial biomass, and the horoscope, whatever that is a leachate, and on the tree, on the grass tree, and the, on the grass, soil mic biomass, microbial biomass. So for the assessment of the nitrate leaching, we will use fluoroscopes. So we will place three fluoroscopes at the um, different distance, uh, different depths below the crops. So we will place at 0 0.5, uh, uh, 15 centimeter, at, at 50 centimeter and at one meter below the soil surface. And uh, they will be placed at predetermined distances away from the tree and away from the grass strip. And um, uh, the proportion of uh, 15N inside the leachate will be assessed for the determination of the nitrate leaching. So here I present the sampling campaigns, the proposed timeline of the PhD. So in this year, 2021, uh, we will go to Montpellier on, on April 26 and do the initial sampling and leveling. So we have three variables to sample from, and each one has its own respective, uh, sorry, we have uh, three, variables, three parameters to sample from, and each one has its own respective variable. So we will sample from crop, trees and grass strip. So for crop, we will sample leaves, roots, soil at 10 centimeter depths, and soil at 30 centimeter depths. Uh, we will also uh, sample soil water at different depths, that is to collect the leachate, uh, and also to collect the grains. But in our sampling um, that will be done in April 26, uh, soil water and grains are not applicable because they are not available now. But in the subsequent, in the next sampling, we will sample uh, this. So for trees, we will sample leaves, fine root, medium root, branch, trunk, soil, uh, at 10 centimeter and at 30 centimeter. And for the grass strip, we will sample leaves, roots, soil at 10 centimeters, <clears throat> soil at 30 centimeter. So we have two blocks, like I said before, we have three blocks, but we will only use two blocks. Um, uh, these two blocks, they are located at, at different location, but like I said before, they are complete replicas of one another. And in each block, we have agroforestry site and we have monocrop site. So the agroforestry site is what we will use as our experimental um, site and the monocrop is to be used as a uh, control site. So we, we will have four replicates in each plot. So for, for crop parameter that we, we will sample, we will have 64 samples. And for trees, we will have 224 samples. And for grass tree, we have 32 samples. So in all, we are going to have 320 samples. So in autumn of this year, we will do past leaching study. So we will put the porous carbs and collect the leachate for subsequent analysis of the 15N content. And in July of this year, we will do the harvesting and 15N analysis. We will do the past leaching study in autumn because since Montpellier is um, 
it's a Mediterranean zone. So rainfall is expected more in autumn. So in the second year of the thesis, we will do second leaching study. So um, we will study uh, the soil, the trees, the crop, the microbes to see if there are remnants of 15N that was applied in the previous year. And in 2023, we will do, uh, we will move forward to make compilations and thesis write up. Our thesis is uh, related to challenge one of Ceylon. This is because we are exploring um, an agroecological solution using agroforestry to improve soil fertility and um, reduce nitrate leaching with subsequent positive effect on reducing groundwater pollution so that um, food can be produced um, with minimum agricultural greenhouse gas emission. And also as we are currently developing the protocol to uh, assess the transfer of atmospherically fixed nitrogen from a, uh, a nitrogen fixing tree to the crops. So if we can get a positive result, it means that we would finally recommend um, a reduced dosage of um, inorganic fertilizer applied to the crops so that um, the atmospherically picks nitrogen um, from the nitrogen figs in tree will be used to supplement the in to supplement the nitrogen requirement of the crops in the field. So we are currently working on this and very soon we will finalize the protocol. Thank you for watching.